the cars were not the only attraction at the Chevrolet Detroit Belle Isle Grand Prix. It's always a good opportunity for Todd to get out in the community, not only for the community to showcase what we have, but look at opportunities that we can leverage from industry, our racing partners, and what we can do to incre increase the survivability of the soldiers. And change of flippers, and it's got different set of names. Participating units included Rapid Equipping Force, TARDEC, Program Executive Office for Ground Combat Systems, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Detroit District, Great Lakes Recruiting Battalion, and TACOM LCMC. They teamed up and showed the technologies saving soldiers' lives in the field. What I'm holding in my hand here now is the Recon Scout. For me, as a soldier, if I was to go out on a patrol, I can easily stick it into my cargo pocket. The hand controller with the screen that I can see what the little the robot is seeing, I can easily attach that to my uniform. Instead of me going into a hole or going over a wall, possibly getting harmed, I would throw this over the wall, take a look around, then proceed to go over. A lot of people look at them and they, they think they're, that they're toys. Eight years ago, uh, when this war first started, uh, guys like me would have to go interrogate a hole uh, by myself. And now we have robots that can go interrogate those holes and save soldiers' lives. Other technologies on display are not even in the field yet and gave the public a look at future battlefield capabilities. The soldier system uh, is collects data relevant to the injury by collecting data uh, about uh, pressure, so overpressure caused by, for instance, a blast event, uh, and also shock data. Uh, that data is collected and stored in a uh, small device. This is a small computer that sits in an applique uh, on the soldier's back. That data is intended to uh, uh, be eventually correlated to injury, connected to the soldier's medical records, so you have a whole history of events that happened to the soldier through the course of his service, and even relevant to uh, 10 years later when he goes to the doctor and he has headaches and, and uh, uh, is in the VA system. Part of the Army's uh, job is to, or mission is to help outreach with the um, local community. This is part of our outreach program, um, educating folks about what we do, why we do it, and how we design our vehicles, and also learning from the, this community on how they design their vehicles, how they in, in develop safety methods within their system so that we can incorporate that and build that common knowledge base. TARDAC leaders even got to enjoy themselves a bit taking a ride around the track in an Indy pace car. That was awesome. That was a, probably one of the fastest riders I've ever been in. It was awesome. I loved it. Hitchcock also had her photo taken with Kid Rock, who had a message for soldiers. Godspeed. God bless y'all. Thanks for your service. And uh, hope you enjoy the race. And God bless you. Sentiments that mean a lot to soldiers like Sergeant Davis. It feels great to have all that. Thank you. You know, I'm in Detroit and it's, it's great. You know, a lot of people came up to us and said thank you for the service, and I really appreciate them because I couldn't do what I do without their support. Reporting from the Detroit Belle Isle Grand Prix, I'm Daniel Day.